We're here at the Elephant Corral in Tony, downtown Denver, now known as a Lodo, where all the cool and neat people go. <laughs> but it wasn't like that in the 1850s when the Elephant Corral was Denver's first stockyards. In the 1850s, a guy named John Thames uh, uh, opened the Elephant Corral, which was located in this facility on this uh, street in lower downtown Denver. And he catered primarily to horses and mules and oxen, and particularly in draft teams, which farmers and ranchers used, which people towing wagons for freight used, and where they uh, traded in uh, the, the old tired ones and bought some uh, newer, younger ones. And Thames handled cattle primarily as a sideline. And as the railroads decided to make Denver a major uh, shipping point for and slaughtering point for uh, cattle, why they needed a much bigger facility than uh, John Thames had here. And in addition to the fact, since the railroads were the ones doing it, they wanted it out on the main line of the railroad and not in downtown Denver. And so they moved the stockyards out into the, uh, by the 1870s, out into the uh, current location. Uh, most of the farmers and ranchers lived, you know, most of the year uh, out in the Tulis, uh, far, far away from uh, uh, any kind of a city or town. And so when you'd come to uh, Denver, for instance, and there were uh, bars and hotels and uh, restaurants and uh, other places of entertainment, why they wouldn't hesitate to avail themselves of it, particularly if they didn't happen to bring Mama along. Uh, if you get tired and uh, want to uh, get a break from the stock show activities, come to lower downtown Denver in the great restaurant district and uh, come to the corner of 15th and Wazee and find the Elephant's Corral and you can look at the history and read up on the history outside what is now an office building.